Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Goetia. Now, we're in an interesting room here. One it appears we can't go any further from, but there is this painting, this photograph here rather, that we can enter. Now, the last time we got stopped because it was only half a photograph here, but we fixed that. And I think we should take this a little bit further and see what's going on. So here we are, back in the photograph. It's all black and white. Not that I can really tell much of a difference, to be honest with you. I remember the cottage from the photograph. How strange. It seems I can enter it even though the picture doesn't show the inside. So we're back here. Now we found these two photographs here that we could enter. Um, but we didn't enter them, and now we can go even further. There's a drawing of a strange creature on the box, half fish and half horse. Not sure I want... Oh, no, I didn't want to go that. Oh, okay. I can't see anything. Alright, okay. We need to do more before going in there, but it looks it now. Oh, there we go. This is a failed photograph, but I can still feel attracted by its scenery. Okay, that's the reason why we couldn't see anything. Let's go back in there just for a second. See if we've learned anything. There are things I can look at. Oh. Okay. not doing anything obvious is it I don't seem to be able to read the picture okay that's probably a clue for later on I should imagine right and that's interesting that's all the extra it's given me so far so yeah, that leads to this room here. We don't understand this room yet. Okay. The picture I found in the bedroom was incomplete and I cannot access the missing part. And yeah, yes, we know that. Okay, and the back of the cottage is blurry, but I can still make a few out a few elements that seem interesting. All right. Okay, let's try one of these pictures. Let's try the forest. Oh, that was a nice little touch. I like this round rock. Would that I could lie on it for a while. Oh, Abigail, you poor thing. Okay, so this is not taking us into any new area. This is... we are still within the photograph. But it looks like there is something over here. Yes, there is. I can see a grain in the walls of this project's cabin. Like the grain of a photograph. But it looks more like a wood grain to me. Okay, can we... Yep, yeah, we can go in. There we go. Oh, lots of stuff to look at. A set of wood saws. I won't be needing those. Oh, that box again. This box seems familiar. Yes, it does, actually. Some crates and gardening tools. Nothing particularly useful. These bags seem full of sand. No hidden treasure, then. Oh, this hammer reminds me of the kind used with a chisel to cut stone. Okay, I can possess that. That's 
Alright, let's see what we do with that. I shouldn't get too close to this workbench. It looks really unstable. I don't think you need to worry about that. A pair of glasses. A vital accessory for any scholar. Okay, that looks like... Hmm... So, what can we drop a hammer on? My first thought is this one... That did something. Oh. Oh. Oh, right. Now I wonder. Let's go and find out. Am I going to be able to pick that up? I think I am. Okay, so there's the box. Yes. Let's put it back for now because I don't know what use it's going to be. Um, let's try this picture here. Okay. It's upside down, it would appear. But it's still good enough to look at. They look like the bullets grandfather used while hunting, but they're a bit more cumbersome. There's another picture I can go into there. Food supplies! I'm saved! Oh, I'm also dead. I don't need them. Right, something I can go into. A young king that I don't know! Oh, England. Right, that looks like going back to the first area. First of all, it is advisable to delve as deep as possible into the artifact. The subject, one should go pace by pace from oneself to the subject cautiously, as if a fight of as if a flight of stairs. Request, approach, invitation, possession. The idea seems straightforward, but the first two steps always leave me with a persistent semi-conscious state for a, a few minutes after the attempt, and breaking the frail connection between the project and itself, the projection and itself, is not recommended. To maintain this communication, one can use animals. The most Formidable ordeal is the invitation. Or precisely, the exact moment the subject accepts the projection and goes and opens the door leading into itself, I gradually lose consciousness of myself, and a few wor new world opens. However, this short moment when both universes coexist is a painful and distressing for me, one. Finally, the possession of the decisive step, a sigil drawn on both hands, can be can strengthen the connection. Okay, right. Doesn't make too much sense at the moment, but I'm sure it will. Oh, we got lots of stuff here. A photograph within a photograph. This place is no end. A veritable labyrinth. As if his creator, Gabriel, did everything he could confound visitors and hide something important inside it. This only intrigues me more. There's one thing I'm certain of, though. I cannot possess an object in a photograph and then go out of a picture and into another one. Each picture has its own universe, but I will need to carry an object from one place to another. So I'll need to find a solution. I found a pair of spectacles on a woodcutter's bench. Oddly enough, they're clean, as if they didn't belong to this place. Or rather, they'd been put there after the picture was taken. 
the back of the cottage is blurry. But I can still make it. Oh yeah, we know that one. All right. I remember watching stone carvers in the village. They used such a hammer and a chisel. Could have this one be used to carve the stone near the cabin? Okay, so it looks like we need to find a chisel. That makes sense. Right. Okay, more possessable pictures. This is. They, they weren't joking when they called this place a labyrinth. A set of photographs make a panorama. How oh, clever. I'm missing the middle one. One of the pictures is missing, but that doesn't stop you from travelling inside the other two. This landscape is quieter. These tools remind me of the weapon diagrams of the library. These are much more sophisticated. Ammunition and a few pictures and letters. My dear parents, we've been left here without orders for almost a month. There isn't a living soul in St. Margaret. Those who survived the bombings fled the area. Nevertheless, there's still been no word from either Winnie or Pooh <laughs> for several weeks now. Each hour we spend watching gives that resolute uh, each hour we spend watching the guns that resonate in vain is at once both reassuring and frightening the weight is incessantly the weight and uncertainty are wearing us out sorry this handwriting is hard for me to follow Despite the bloodshed, we were glad to be able to respond in kind to this side of the, the sea. Still, I won't complain if if what's I won't complain for what it's worth. In this uneasy silence that hangs over us now, I can enjoy the sweet music of the woods. I wait for you now. That said. The monotony of the past few days was disrupted a little. A photographer came to visit our, our bunker. He arrived in a Daimler armoured car and was accompanied by two officers. He was a rather strange fellow and none of us were sure of what he was there for. He set up his bulky equipment to take a few pictures but made sure to keep us from appearing in them. I always thought that in times of war Portraits of valiant soldiers were uh, were common, but he was only interested in the building, despite the blank black walls. He didn't stay very long. I miss Lizzie's letters. How is she? I hope she's well, and that she's not affected too much by these events, as much as circumstances allow. She's so young. Tell her she's a true friend. The latest news is... Martin's posting last week he left the bunker for okay can I go no I can't go any further and we are we are framed okay yes we are framed All right, so I can go into these pictures I'm probably not going to get any value out of those until I find the middle one uh, I can go to a picture here Something is hidden behind these railings. A photograph? I can't do anything with those yet, so I need to find a, something to do with those. Alright. And I can't leave either side. Okay, let's try it. Let's try some of these photos. Let's do this one. Okay, that's the way out. That makes sense. Alright, so let's try the panel. Ooh. 
There's another one in that room. Let's try that first. This one here. Okay, where are we? We're here now. And what do we see in this room? Uh, there's something interesting over there. There's a painting we can go into there. Oh, they used to put her favorite novels here. I recognize this piano. Will I be able to touch a few keys? Let's give it a try, shall we? Yes, I can. And now I need to find out which ones. La Nocturne. Some sheet music brought from France. Fortunately, it's been translated. By Annie, I suppose. Okay. Okay. I hope I don't have to play this. Okay, we know about that. Uh. Ah. No, okay, I've no idea what we're doing here. Rather than just click around, let's see if we can go anywhere else in this painting, in this photograph rather. No, doesn't appear so. Let's go through here. We'll come back to that later on. Ah, okay, we're back here. Right, so let's try. Let's try this panorama then. I get the feeling we need to find that middle picture. Well, I think we know where that middle picture is. Okay, with love, A. Eh? A photograph of some ruins, just a picture. The trails lead here. I should search for a way to enter. All right. Okay. Is that? Going here. A vehicle destroyed by fire in the middle of nowhere. The label says uh, only says developer. Okay, so we can't leave here. All right. There's our way back. Okay, so... Right, so we have a middle area here that we can't get into. There's a piano here that we need to understand what to play. And this room is blurry. This room the hammer in it so we need to find a use for the hammer now we can take it out and then oh didn't we do that we can take it out in this box so perhaps we can hit something here all right uh, oh actually there is one other thing we can do we can change this picture and Okay, now this is interesting. This looks like the same picture, but 
the right way up. There's our way back out. That's the same. That's the same. Let's check here quickly. Yeah, this looks the same. Let's take another look at this. Uh, unless it's just as simple as C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And I'm not seeing a clue there, but let's try that anyway. No, it made no difference. Okay, it's not as simple as that. Okay, back we go. What about up here? And okay, and all right. Okay, that's that. It's not... I was hoping we'd be able to find a picture there. Alright. Alright, I still... Okay, this is the same as before. We are unfortunately out of time. So we'll pick this up in the next episode and see if we can get a little further into this. I'm fairly certain that the picture we need is in here. We just need to work out how to open it up and get the thing out. So until the next time, I've been Simon Parsons. This... D.A.F. Got to try this. Right. Second. Sixth. And then fourth. Second, sixth, and fourth. You can probably tell I'm not a musician. Two, three. Hold on, hold on, that's wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Second, three, four, five, six, and okay, so four, five, six, perhaps this one? No. All right, I'm going to need to look that up. I, I, well, I need to look up how a piano works. <laughs> so as I was saying until the next time I've been Simon Parsons this has been Goethe thank you and good night <laughs>